right, apparently, uh, contrary to what original rumors had, oh, well, second rumor, original rumor, <laughs> the remix, the Broncos are willing to part ways or listen to offers for cornerback Patrick Sertan. They're also listening to offers for Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. I feel like the Lions can use uh, Cortland Sutton uh, or Suddenland, whatever his name is, uh, and they can use Patrick Sertan. Now, I'll talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Scrub. Go to the channel. I did the short yesterday talking about this and my whole stance on it. The question going around is, do you give up a first-round pick for Patrick Sertan? And in my mind, you definitely give up a first-round pick. Now, if you can get it done without give, doing a first-round pick, hey, credit to you. But what you're getting is an all-pro caliber. I don't know if he made all-pro, but he's an all-pro caliber type of corner. I mean, a shutdown type of corner. Um, you know, and Brad Holmes' first-round picks this year didn't look too good so far. And the second-round picks have been better. So my whole thing is, if I get, if I can get uh, an elite player and I can put him with Cam Sutton, and I got a bona fide number one and a bona fide number two corner, I mean, shit, you know, with Gardner Johnson getting injured, I mean, you can bring him back on on on, on another, you know, solid deal. You know, you're gonna bring Kirby back. You know what I'm saying? So, your know, DB is gonna look super, super, super duper good. I know people say, well, the preference would be a pass rusher. You know, uh, I think the preference at this point is a cornerback because you got plenty of pass rushers that can come back and help you out. You know, you hope Romeo find his foot and Julia can come back, find his hooding. James Houston be back, you know, not so long. No, not sure what he can give you. Kaminsky, we can go on and on. Josh Pascal, if he can stay healthy, you know, maybe hopefully Anna's can, can can knock the rust off, off of it. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, like I continue to say, uh... You got help there, but, but, but at cornerback, ain't no help. Ain't nothing behind Jerry Jacobs, and y'all fucked around and found out the hard way. And I was saying that from the beginning of the, se of the season, that they need to get another corner. And you got an opportunity to get the corner. Now, I mean, he was, oh, it's a first-round pick. What first-round pick you going to get? Let's say, worst-case scenario, they 15th in the draft. What first-round pick you going to get as good as 10 at 15? Come on, 20. 25 you know what i'm saying so i'm doing that i mean you know would you like to have montez sweat chase young and i'll talk about that in another video jonathan allen absolutely but you have you are very superficial at the cornerback position and when you put montez sweat chris chase young brian burns those type of guys Patrick of 10 is probably better than all those guys just in a vacuum regardless of the position now if i were to go get a pass rusher more than likely, it's it's amongst the uh, pa it's the most it's got to be amongst the pa the athletic variety. Uh, you know, Brian Burns, Chase Young, Montez Sweat. You know, and I think they said they looking for a second or third for one of them. You know what? You know, uh, if I gave up a first for Sertan, and I could fuck around and give up a second or a third. And, and get Brian Burns, or they were talking about Chase Young and Sweat. And Chase, you know, Sweat already got five sacks. If I could mess around and do that, I probably would trade the first half of the draft next year. If I can get a third and end up with Chase, it's hard for me to imagine you getting a third for Chase Young. I'm thinking more of a fifth. No contract, been injured, been a problem child over there. I, you know, Montez Sweat, I'm, I'll do a third. Brian Burns, I'll do a second. If I could turn around and, and I can, sure, I can re up with Brian Burns. I would turn around and say, you know, if I can do a second for Patrick Sertan and some, I'll do it and do a first for Brian Burns. It's hard for me to do a first for Brian Burns because he ain't under contract. But I tell you this, if I could do a first for Sertan and a second for Brian Burns, that shit is done. They probably your two best defenders off rip. This year, your best defender been year in and year out, more consistent, especially before the injury, it's been, it's been uh, Brian Branch. Then it's been Aiden Hutchinson. I think if you add Sertan and you add Burns to this defense, I think Sertan is the best player on the defense. I think Burns is probably the second best player on the defense. Then I still think you're thinking about a healthy Brian Branch, then an Aiden Hutchinson. Your defense is, is totally amazing at that point. You know, if I do a first and a fifth and get Sertan and get young, I like it. You know, I think Sertan is still the best, then Branch, then Hutch, then, you know, down the line. You know, that's my opinion. I like Jonathan Allen as well, and I get in those conversations. But by far, it just makes too much sense. People value in that first-round pick. Like, y'all didn't see them take Jameer Gibbs and Jack Campbell and, and both of them part-time players. 
And I know, and like I said, it take a while for an inside linebacker to get his feet wet two, two or three seasons before they really start to arrive. So, you think about that. I can get a known, if I get two known commodities and some combination, I easily do it. Now, if they say you get Sertan for like a second and a and a third or something like that, I mean, hey, so be it. If I get him for a first, I get to take this first. I don't plan on being high in the draft anyway. Don't plan on it. Take this first. And I can come back with a third, fourth, or fifth and end up with Young or something like that. But my thing is this. I take that first and that second. I end up with Burns, Sertan and Burns. I do that easy. Easily. 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 Next offseason, next year, I got $60 million under the cap. Some of that's going to go to Burns. I go out there and try to get the best interior lineman that I can get. That's it. You know? But, you know... Regardless of or, or going over to Cortland Sutton, Jerry Ju Jacobs, Jerry Judy, Jerry Judy, more of a slot guy. You know, he ain't been serious. He he don't seem to be a, a, a lion s type player. Um, the immaturity that he went back with Steve Smith and these dudes are sensitive. I know it's hard for these dudes to have former players and people on TV saying you're not performing well and feel like, especially if it's coming from a guy that used to be in the locker room kicking you while you're down. But people today can't take constructive crit crit criticism. Everybody today is is very sensitive. They're not coachable, and they take everything as a diss. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just rather you know Jerry Ju Jake Judy go out there, call him Jake Jerry Judy go out there, score a touchdown, and then you know say Steve Smith, you like that? That's cool. We're going back up to him and say Ninja, I don't mess with you and all that. That's immaturity, and you're not playing well, and that's why you can't be real with yourself, and that's why you're mad because you're not performing up to a standard. He has the credentials to hold you accountable. And you mad. And I appreciate this to parents. Make your kids coachable and teachable. A lot of y'all kids don't listen to nobody. Don't, 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 don't believe in, don't, don't believe in listening to nobody. Can't be coached, you know, and, and, and y'all wonder why teachers and coaches don't give a damn. And they both basically volunteers. What they pay teachers a fucking volunteer job. Coaches, a lot of them volunteer. Let's keep it real, you know. So that is what it is on that standpoint. But with Cortland Sutton, no to go on Jerry Ju Judy. Uh, but Cortland Sutton easily. Somebody you need, still under contract for a couple more seasons. Respectable deal. 6'4. I still would look at bringing DJ Shark back too because he's familiar with the offense and it make a lot of sense because he got a rapport with golf. Um, but they was really banking on J Mo coming back doing something. And apparently that ain't happened yet and don't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. It's funny how Goff had a great rapport with Shark, and they can't form one with J-Mo at all. But Shark is a veteran in the league. You know, the run routes, he's been around, around the league. But with Corlin Sutton, absolutely. A 6'4", get down the field, catch the ball, kind of mimic what DJ Shark did, even though if you trade for DJ Shark, it'll cost way less and it'll be way less on the cap. That's why they understand DJ Shark walked away with nothing for nothing. Yeah, he walked, had a surgery or whatever. I'll take that. Two three million dollars, hey man, you, it was worth bringing them back. But hey, I'd easily go out there and get Cortland Sutton, like him a lot. Probably think about third, fourth, fifth round pick. You know, I get them. People say, oh, you don't need a receiver. We can bring back bum ass Tom Kennedy. Okay, whatever. But hey, it is what it is. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Peace.